Hey guys, this is Josh from MalkabottoTheme.com. Today, I just kind of wanted to go over quickly how you can help benefit your overall page speed and kind of uh, cut down some of that miscellaneous stuff that loads on your website, even though it probably doesn't need to. And it's something when you look at these kind of data, you can go take a look to go see. So like, it's taking three and a half seconds for it to basically start to process and make it available to users. But there's all kinds of render resources that are blocking. So when you go look, you can see some of these. And it's like the block library. I mean, I can't get rid of that because I use that for the post, right? Some of these you won't be able to do anything with. Some of them you can do stuff with. And many of them can be limited. Like this Amalinks Pro doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to run. It, it shouldn't be on the front page. There's nothing here that it's actually driving. It actually is currently loading Elementor because I installed Elementor to do this resource page just to kind of show how you could build a resource page with uh, Elementor easily. But when I installed it, it immediately impacted my page speed for everything because Elementor is loaded uh, for every page. Even if it's not in use, it, the resources are available so you could turn the page into an Elementor page. So today I just wanted to cover real quick using um, a plugin called uh, Asset Cleanup to fix this. So what you want to do is you can do to plugins, go add new, and then you can type in Asset Cleanup. And when Asset Cleanup loads, there's going to be this one right here. It's by Gabriel Levan. Um, it's basically just an assistance plugin. So when you worry about running multiple plugins most of the time you really don't need to uh, it's not count necessarily it's what they do and how they impact the page they're loading on so like this plugin is basically a negative plugin you use it to clean up and speed up your website by removing the additional things from running on the page so if you go into the asset cleanup right what you want to do is you want to go into settings and then you go to asset cleanup and then inside here, you're just going to want to read through and click I understand and then update. So basically, this is just kind of explaining how the how the plugin works and how it interacts with some of the other caching programs. Uh, and you should read through if you run any of these other ones just so that you understand. Uh, most stuff I do, you can do a lot within here, like uh, optimization of CSS manually. So, you know, decide what you want to minify and make smaller, what you can't make smaller you know, how you want to load it in smaller amounts, which increases page speed also, and then optimizing. So you can take and merge together JavaScripts and you can do other things, you know, load, load them later to make sure you basically load as fast as possible. Um, I don't worry about that as much until I have a lot of things and I start to see problems within this, then I'll, then I'll take the time to go try and uh, figure out and merge those together. Um, what you want to do is look at like these site wide common ones out of this initial settings, which nobody uses emojis. Just get rid of that one. Don't get rid of embeds because embeds is like the, the it's like your YouTube videos and stuff. So if you're going to embed things, then you want to leave this off. If you're not going to embed anything, then go ahead and turn it on. It'll save a little bit for you. Um, the dash icons is like all the stuff that gives you like the WordPress icons and stuff, right? But this is for guests and your guests shouldn't need that, nor should they need to see it. Gutenberg, if you don't use Gutenberg, here's where you can actually just disable the block library site-wide, which if you're not using Gutenberg, it is a good thing to take care of and cuts down on some load. Uh, jQuery Migrate, you should always turn this off. It's going to tell you blah, 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 but most of this is just about a really ancient version of jQuery uh, to run on the current version of jQuery, and nobody should be running those old plugins anymore. If you are, then you want to leave it off. I don't know who would at this point. And then I recommend leaving this one off just because it's comments, but if you aren't going to run comments on your site ever, you can turn this off and save a little bit more space just because this will cut down on the additional parts that are there. You want to do update all settings. And then you're going to move over to HTML source cleanup. And nobody needs this unless you're using Flickr, I think, is about the only one it's really used for. Uh, Windows Live Writer, I've never even seen anybody use. So why not not load that and just save a little bit? The REST API, probably not needed. But that's I'll leave up to each one of you individually. Short links, 
I don't ever use these. They're like the little question mark P equals one. I haven't used them in forever. Uh, relational links I'll leave just because it kind of says what the next or, you know, what the previous title was. So it can be good. I do say remove WordPress version because this way it's not just in your website as to what version you're running, which can help defend you against some some forms of hacking. Uh, remove the generators just uh, does the same thing basically to not publish the list of plugins you run, which is, again, exceedingly helpful. And then these are the RSS feeds. I leave them. I, I don't see a downside to leaving them. And then you can uh, remove stuff from the comments, but I don't. I don't do much with the comments. I, I the value is still fifty fifty to me. <laughs> uh, you sometimes get a lot of spam, sometimes not that much. So this is additionally like you can preload fonts. So this way they help speed up a little bit more again because you can actually preload them directly from your own content, which Akabata does have. So I may cover that later as to how you can kind of preload those also. And then Google Fonts, you can actually go through and merge together a whole bunch of Google Google Font pulls all at once. So that way you're not asking Google multiple times. And this also allows you to do pre-connects so you can actually... Uh, do it before the request is going to occur so that it knows to kind of pre-jump the queue and start downloading before they click the button to download. Um, after that, I, I would say you do these two no matter what just because it helps clean up some miscellaneous stuff and it leaves you a little bit more secure. What you want to do is the, the big benefit of cleanup is that it can be ran directly on cleanup against pages and against posts. So. As you can see, with the home page, I don't have anything in Elementor. There's nothing here. So what you want to do is go over here. We can go to Home, Edit. And when you go to Home and Edit, you'll notice there's nothing because Akabato is actually driving, assembling all of this for you. So there isn't any content itself. So Asset Cleanup, though, is right below. And you actually have the ability to turn off basically any plugin specifically that's running on the page. So like Amalinks is... Uh, a bunch of cool uh, tables and uh, Amazon API usage to display sh product showcases that can help people uh, see the product it gives prices and ratings and stuff so it, it, if you're interested you can jump over here and I've got a shortcut over to it real quick inside here all you have to do is go to resource pages and you can either go to Gutenberg or Elementor and then Amalinks Pro is right here you can click and go to it um, I do get a commission if you decide to sign up and get it. Um, I like it. It makes it a little bit uh, fancier within my pages to be able to add some of those. It also gives access to like uh, Amazon's images and other options that you don't normally have. So on the home page, though, it's not doing anything. And since it's not doing anything, what you want to do is check all. So none of these will now be loaded on this page. And then this is their table builder, same thing. I don't have any tables on the front page. And then you'll see Elementor, who's a big one of why we get a big drop in score, is Elementor is running on this page. So we want to turn off Elementor. We don't want it to load on this page. So remember, all of these are specifically against this page. So the one I'm editing right now is just the settings for home. If you were to go look at About Us, you're going to have the same thing. You're going to want to turn these off. And some of these you can actually go in and unload site-wide and then go enable specifically on a page. It kind of depends on where you're at. I like to, it's not micromanage, but better organize myself by rather having them load and forget that they don't be needed than to turn them all off and then realize that it hasn't been working on one of my pages beforehand. Uh, so Inside here, the affiliate, like this is what makes the pretty short links for uh, taking people to uh, like purchase Akabato. So I will leave it because it's handling uh, those buttons and the links that are there. Uh, basically what pretty links is, is Thirsty Affiliates is the same uh, style. It just allows me to actually organize them by categories. Uh, and then from the theme, so Akabato, probably don't want to unload Akabato to display Akabato's pages, but... If you were to build a whole page, like I've done here with Elementor, and you were to do like whole page where you got rid of everything, then on that page you could unload Akabato because it would be beneficial to your speed 
to not load Akabato if it's not doing anything for you actively on the page. And then external stuff, I tend not to turn these off because you can have unintended side effects. Let me update real quick because we're through the things I wanted to turn off. Uh, the WordPress core is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Those are those ones like the jQuery and some of that other stuff that we turned off in the back end. You can actually go inside the settings and you can tell it that you want access to the core. <laughs> but the core is where you can kind of start breaking things. So you can turn them on. Where is it? Yeah. So if you uncheck this, then each one of those... So if we turn that off, now we'll go back over to pages real quick. So now if you go into home, what you'll see is, we'll scroll more down. Each one of these core now are open here to load, but this is where you can really break things because you, you uh, have all of the backbone of WordPress itself and what it's using to load. So like, a bunch of little things are all here. The block editor, like all of your pieces of how it typically runs are all located here. So I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you are interested in just really pinning performance to the, to the top of the list. So now that I've made those changes, we'll rerun this again. I would take it we're going to go to like a 95 to 97 probably. But... It's because the home page is exceedingly streamlined and well built for uh, these tests to give you a beneficial result. So, hey, there you go, 99. So now it's loading back at its normal speed again. And you'll see, I can refresh. It doesn't impair anything that was here because what we did was turn off everything that isn't doing anything on this page for us at this point. But I just wanted a chance to go through real quick let you guys see, understand, and get an understanding as to why you would install a plugin like Asset Cleanup. Uh, I've brought it up before on the forums, but I, a lot of people I don't think understood uh, the power that the plugin can give you. This is how you can increase your page speed immediately as long as you just turn off the things that are uh, taking extra resources away from your page. This has been Josh from Akabatotheme.com. Everybody, have a good day. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if there's anything you'd like a video specifically on. Um, I'm going to make one later today, I think, just to uh, explain uh, Amalinx so you can see it and then um, go over these resource pages. Uh, I want to export uh, templates because you can export um, templates from Elementor so that you could just import a template and use this for uh, your own uh, display of your resources. Um, and I want to go through and uh, build in real time kind of what Dirt Bike Planet has. So thank you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye.